Identity is not and cannot be based on malleable and subjective feelings. All right, I need you to tag him in this video because I really want an answer to this question. I just have one question for you. And I see your other videos, so don't diverge. We're not talking about anything else. I just want you to answer my one question. You should be able to use the 15 second option. You said that identity is not malleable. It is what it is, right? So I want you to define what a woman is. And there's only two caveats. Your definition should be able to exclude all trans women, but include all cis women. And I should not be able to find an anecdotal exception in either direction. Because you made an absolute statement, your definition should be absolute. So I need you to define what this is, what you're talking about, and because it's an absolute statement, there should be no exceptions. I look forward to your answer. I want you to define what a woman is. And there's only two caveats. Your definition should be able to exclude all trans women, but include all cis women. And I should not be able to find an anecdotal exception in either direction. I look forward to your answer. Well, no, the fuck you do not. Because what's this? <clears throat> a woman is an adult human female. Adult human female. One which was conceived as a conception, as in something that can only be done by an adult human female that creates a child in her womb. Thus, as someone politically active as you, cisgendered is not something that exists. It is actually a social constructed concept. Because to every single person of the silent majority, otherwise known as normal, this is to normal people what we call being born. You know you don't gotta do this. There are a lot easier ways to indulge in your embarrassment kink on the internet. Mm. A woman is an adult human female. Adult human female. This is from the Cleveland Clinic. Intersex. People who are intersex have genitals, chromosomes, or reproductive organs that don't fit into a male-female sex binary. Their genitals might not match their reproductive organs, or they may have traits of both. Being intersex may be evident at birth, childhood, later in life, or never. Being intersex isn't a disorder, a disease, or a condition. An estimated 1 in 100 Americans is intersex. Around 2% of the population worldwide have intersex traits. Being intersex can present in about 40 different ways. The most common intersex traits include a combination of chromosomes or mixed genitals and sex organs. There are women born naturally without the qualifications you set out to be a woman. But hey, I'm just listening to the doctors and you have a dictionary. This is clearly somebody coping. For the consideration of the people who we are going to inevitably be lied to, please review the following content. But include all cis... A woman is an adult human female. Adult female human. It's not complicated. It's never been complicated. Stop trying to make it complicated and seem smart. Simple things work sometimes. I promise. And now, again, for your consideration, evidence piece number two. Note the likes. Note the comments. Note the bookmark. And of course, evidence piece three. Note the lack of stitch reply. Does it not make sense? No worries. I'll lay it out for y'all. Because this dumbass is giving me free content for the day. Which, by the way, thank you. It raised me from time and work while I'm working on my edit. For the slow of you in the audience, or the ones that are believing the lies you're telling, let me paint through the picture. Once upon a time, there was a political midwit who was getting his ass beat in the quote tweets because he was getting mocked by not just one black male, but many people to the fact that you can visibly see it here on the likes and the comment ratio. And let's keep it small here. In the case of these one of two black males, one was allowed to make a stitch upon which the political midwit immediately then turned off his stitches because he was upset. God damn it, I'm supposed to be able to bully people on the internet. I should be allowed to respond the way that I want to. How dare Tony Talks TT ratio me, god damn it. I'ma send my audience after you. And that is what is currently happening. How do I know? Because the same thing has happened to me. Evidence here. Notice how this is a stitch and that he did not come to my comment section. He instead went to the video clipped out a piece of the section at the beginning, and then started doing what all political midwits do, which is acting a fucking fool, because he's upset that he got ratioed by somebody bigger. Thought, maybe I should try to bully somebody smaller. And you do know that's harassment, right? You're violating terms of service right now by doing what you're doing, because you're trying to claim that I'm saying something that I am not, and mischaracterizing and misframing my argument, and then you are sending your audience to harass me while you try to farm clicks and likes off your audience. This is the action of a political midwit. It is, in my humblest opinion, that you stop doing what you're doing by considering that you've decided to take this avenue where instead of telling the truth, you decided to cope to your audience because you're mad that two black men beat your ass. I would suggest if you want to 
out yourself even further, please go to the Discord of Single Player Carl, found at youtube.com slash single player Carl, and contact one of my moderators. And I will be repeat promptly once I'm done talking to the set. This has been Single Player Carl, reminding you, stop lying on the internet. We can record and copy and see what you're doing.